Hello, my students. I'm your biology teacher, Chegu Govin. Our subtopic today is 6.4, Developments of Seed and Fruits. Learning standard for this subtopic. Number one, describe double fertilizations and developments of seed and fruits. Number two, relate the structure of seed and ovules. And number three, relates the structure of fruits to ovary. Okay, look at these diagrams. This diagram shows the developments of tomato seeds and fruit after fertilizations. Look at photograph number one. Photograph number one, stigma and style degenerates while the sepals of the tomato plants can still be seen. Okay, so this is the sepals. Sepal is a defensive organ that enclose and protect the developing of reproductive structure of the plants. Okay, after uh, photograph number two, after fertilizations, the petals fall off. This is the petals fall off. The stigma and the style wither away and the couples begins to swell. Couple is the female reproductive organ, which is consists of uh, styles, stigma, ovule, and ovary. And then the ovary walls swell in the ripe roots. Look at these diagrams. This diagram show the developments of an embryo. After double fertilization occur, the triplot endosperm nucleus divide by mitosis and form the endosperm tissue. So this is endosperm tissue. And the endosperm tissue is the food storing tissue which surrounds and supply nutrients to the embryo. So this is an embryo consists of cotyledons, females and radicals. The zygote divide by mitosis to form two cells, a larger cells and a smaller cells. So this is terminal cell, the, the smaller cell. The basal cell is the larger cells. The larger cell develops into a suspensor that anchor the embryo to the wall of the embryo sex. This one, eh? suspensor. And then the smaller cells will become an embryo that consists of cumules, radicals and cotyledons. Okay, cotyledons females and radicals. These three are embryo. Okay, look at these diagrams. This diagram show developments of the ovary into a fruits after fertilizations. The ovules develops to become the seed in the fruits. The integuments become two layers of seed coats that serve to protect the embryo. During the developments of ovules and seeds, the ovary develops into a fruits. Okay, look at this one. This is ovary. Ovary becomes the fruits. And then the ovary walls become pericups of the fruits, which is consists of exocups, mesocup, and endocups. Ovules become the seeds of the fruits. This is peduncles. Peduncles support the uh, flower and also support the fruits. Other flower parts such as the stigma and style degenerates and leave a scar on the ovary walls. So this is the scar left by stigma and styles. The ovary wall become the pericups of the fruits which consists of exocups, mesocup and endocups. This is exocup, the outer layer, the fruits, the mesocup, the middle parts and endocup is the inner parts of the fruits. Activity 6.6. .6. The aim of this activity is to observe the structure of a fruit and relate it to the structure of the flower, the material, papaya, female flower of papaya, apparatus, sharp knife, magnifying glass, and dissecting tray. The procedure. Number one, make a longitudinal cut of the papaya flower by using a sharp knife. Number two, place the cut papaya flower on the surgical tray. Number three, identify the parts of the papaya flower, such as ovary, ovary walls, ovule, and peduncles by using a magnifying glass. This is the papaya flower. And then number four, repeat step one, two, three for the papaya fruits. This one. Okay. Identify the fruit parts which corresponds to the parts inside the flower. And then last one, draw the longitudinal sections of the flower and fruits and labels the parts such as ovary, 
ovary walls, ovule, fruit pericarp, seed, and peduncles. Activity 6.7. The aim of this activity is to collect specimens to study the type of fruits. Work in groups. Study the information below about the type of fruits. Okay, there are four types of fruits. Simple fruits, aggregate fruits, multiple fruit, and accessory fruits. Simple fruits is the fruits developed from a single couples or several couples fused together in a single flower. Okay, this is examples of simple fruits, tomato and avocado and pea. Aggregate fruits is the fruits developed from numerous couples in a single flower. Okay, so the example is blackberry and raspberry. Multiple fruits is the fruit developed from couples of a cluster of flower. Okay, a cluster of flower. So the example is pineapples, jackfruits, and mulberry. Accessory fruits. The fruits develop from a tissue that is not in the ovary, but from some tissue near the couples. Examples, apples, figs, and strawberry. Okay, there are four types of fruits, simple, aggregate, multiples, and accessory fruits. Active practice 6.4. Here are the questions. Question number one. After fertilization occurs between the male gametes and the egg cells, the zygote produce undergoes mitosis, forming two cells. Explains. The answer is, one cell will develop to form the suspensor, and another cell will develop to form the embryo. Question number two. State the structure of the seed which enables it to be stored for a long time before it germinates. The answer is testa. Testa is a seed cord. It is from the outer integuments of the ovules. So when it matures, it becomes testa. Number three, what is the functions of the suspensor in the development of seeds? Suspensor, its function is to anchor the embryo to the wall of the embryo sac. Number four, what is the difference between the primules and radicals which are structure forming an embryo in the seeds? Primules grow up to form the shoot while radicals grow down to form the roots. Last one. The exocarp is said to protect fruit from spoilings. Justify. Exocarp is a strong and waterproof skin. So it protects the fruits from water loss and fungal attacks. That's all for today. Thank you. See you in next lessons. Bye-bye. Thank you.